Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful day. So this video is going to be a little different than what I usually put in my channel, right? I usually talk about crypto, but uh, I'm a technology guy. So I, I follow anything technology and especially artificial intelligence. You know, I love artificial intelligence. Uh, ever since I heard about ChatGPT, uh, you know, I've been all over that. And I was impressed that they took out, or they show a new model, the O3 model, and man, I'm telling you, if if you didn't, <laughs> if you were still expecting to be a developer, you know, and next year, or even this year, a junior developer, then, then forget it, or even a mid-level. If you're a mid-level developer, I will try to do anything I can to be promoted to senior developer, you know, within the next year, if possible. Uh, I remember when ChatGPT 3.5 came out, it, it was it was fairly good at coding. I would use it personally to, to write scripts. Um, I've been working, I mean, I work in the IT field. Uh, I'm a system analyst, so uh, I have to do a lot of different things. But I remember this one time that I had an issue, I couldn't solve it for like two or three days. And I asked ChatGPT, hey, you know, very specific, uh, no personal details or anything, just if I had the issue, what would the solution be? And they gave me a solution. I asked it, hey, make it a little more secure. It gave me a more secure solution. And uh, I loved it, you know, and it actually worked. The solution actually worked. So uh, artificial intelligence is amazing and it's, it's doing a lot of way, it's doing a lot of changes around the world. And, you know, unfortunately, it is affecting the job market. You can see here, AI coding assistance wave goodbye to junior developers. And, and this is not new. I mean, this came out September 2024. But I think since two years ago, junior developers were having issues finding a job. Definitely when ChatGPT 4 came out, um, junior developers were already having issues. Uh, this one as well, junior high tech roles, 84% drop in front end openings. Um, salaries for as well, because, you know, if you have this artificial intelligence tools that could make your job easier, then companies are going to say, okay, maybe we could pay them a little less. Instead of paying them $120,000, maybe we could pay them $100,000. And uh, I do believe as these programs get better and better, they're going to uh, start reducing the, the pay uh, because th there'll be a lot of people unemployed, you know, with all the skills necessary, but they're unemployed. So if you give them 20,000 less, they'll take it. And and yeah, it just it affects the whole market. But this O3 model, man, as you can see here in comp competition code, uh, you can see the O1 got an 1891. And 03 got a 27 out of 27. And what's interesting is if you see the OpenAI video uh, on this, uh, the guy who was describing and, and explaining everything, he said he had a 2500 score. And he's the lead researcher for for this, right? So, <laughs> so that means the 03 model is better than the lead researcher at OpenAI at competition coding. And there are other benchmarks as well, the ArcGI. Um, you can see the O1 model here. They didn't do that great. Um, but then the O3 uh, low, the 76% in the O3 high tune, um, 88%, which is amazing. So, uh, I mean, I feel bad for junior developers, but uh, this isn't nothing new. I think for the past two years, I think junior developers already knew that the job market wasn't there for them. Companies, I say, if they were hiring five junior developers per year, they might just be hiring one at this point, you know. Um, what about mid-level developers? I think definitely with ChatGPT 4.0, I think it was as good as a mid-level developer. But now with the O1 model, definitely is definitely as good as a mid-level developer. With the O3 model, I will say it's as good as a senior developer. But but you cannot get rid of senior developers yet, right? Because 
no matter how good this, these uh, programs are, you still need somebody to implement them and the, their different business functions. So um, if you're a senior developer, I think you'll be good for the next 10 to 15 years. Um, and after that, I'm not too sure because at the end of the day, uh, these AIs are using language, programming languages that were made specifically for humans to make it easier for humans. Uh, I'm kind of just waiting for somebody, or maybe it has already been done, I don't know, to make a programming language uh, specific for AI to just make it easier for them. You know, and then the AI with agents, they just automate the whole thing. You ask it what, it, what you want how you want it, what style do you want it in, what are the functions, and it will just create the whole thing for you. Um, but but yeah, if, if you're a mid-level developer, in my opinion, if you're a mid-level developer, you should talk to your manager and say, hey, what can I do so that, you know, within a year, I could be promoted to senior level developer? You know, what am I lacking? What can I improve on? Um, I don't think this O3 mod is going to come out anytime soon. It might be maybe a year, maybe end of December 2025, or maybe beginning 2026. Or, or maybe sooner, I don't know, but I think if you're a mid-level developer, you, you, you might want to definitely get promoted to senior as soon as you can. And if it takes you a year, if it takes you a year and a half, then, then that would be great. But anything more than that, then you might be at risk, right, of, of losing your job. Uh, to the same thing that's happening with the junior developers, like I mentioned. The pricing on this, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think they have to review any pricing, but there are some conversations. Some people might say, hey, it might be like 600 bucks for a subscription. Um, uh, some people think it might be 2000 a month, which... <laughs> To be fair, it, it might sound like a lot for us, right? As an individual, paying $2,000 a month is like paying rent. But for a company, $2,000 a month is nothing. That's, that is, what, what is that, $2,000 a month? Um, $36,000 or, or less? Um, you know, uh, actually $24,000. You know, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. Some, some of these companies, they pay... Two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars for a program that barely works, and they use it just for just one function. Um, so yeah, I mean, even if this O3 model, uh, as we could see how how great it is, is two thousand dollars a month, even three thousand, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Um, they'll pay it very gladly, knowing that they're gonna have a high-end developer, artificial developer, in their team. And they might get multiple subscriptions, right? They might get like two or three uh, just to kind of do more work but and do it a little faster too. But but yeah, man, uh, um, artificial intelligence is moving so fast. And I'm excited to see uh, how people are going to start using this. And um, uh, I say, uh, I'll say it again. If you're a mid-level developer, Try to get that promotion to senior because I don't think senior developers are going to go away for the next 10 years or 15 years because they have to create all these programs. Um, but after that, you know, <laughs> you might not even need senior developers either. I don't know how many developers are in the world. Maybe we could do a Google search on this. But uh, let's say there's like two, 2 million developers. I think in 10 to 15 years, you might only have like 30,000, yeah, you know. And, and of course, this might create different job opportunities as well, but I would not be very happy if I was a developer right now. I know junior developers are not happy, uh, that's for sure. Um, but, but yeah, man, uh, this is interesting. I'm excited. And if you're new to my channel, um, my channel focuses mo mostly on crypto information. Uh, and if you don't have a lot of details on crypto, you know, you're welcome to kind of check it out. Go to my playlist right here. I have a playlist that talks about 
a lot of different things let me mute this real quick uh, for example what are crypto wallets you know how to buy and sell crypto how to earn free crypto for beginners because coinbase they kind of have like they'll give us some crypto for free if you if you go through their instruction program uh, you can watch this one that's interesting and also a uh, ripple the company uh, they created a new stable coin it's called rlusd you know what is it is it going to replace xrp you could take a look at that and a big thing is tokenization as well um, not only ripple is doing it many other companies but uh, this is a big deal and if you want a simple explanation to understand what that is you could take a look at it as well but yeah thank you for watching um again please like share subscribe let me know what you think in the comments are mid-level developers okay with this you know i think with the o1 model their job is already at risk but um but yeah i mean with the o3 definitely i don't think you need mid-level developers anymore with senior developers you'll be fine but let me know in the comment section and and thank you again for watching stay safe